This is a passionate story about the rise of amateur grassroots high school students. Gu Ran was reborn and returned to his time studying at Southampton 12 years ago. From then on, he embarked on a thrilling four-level jump from the National Amateur High School Student Championship, to the League One, to the Championship, and finally to the top clubs of the Premier League. At the peak of Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo's career, we stood three-legged against them. In the most confused period of Hollywood female celebrities, give them guidance. Wait. Actually, I just want to play football quietly. Keywords of the novel. I, who only wants to play football, have become a Hollywood male god without pop-ups. I, who only wants to play football, have become a Hollywood male god. Download the full text of the TV series. I, who only wants to play football, have become a Hollywood male god. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Welcome Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Welcome Collection The author is working hard to save the manuscript, and the babies they like will be collected and brought home first. We look forward to the future together. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Dating Sophie Turner At the beginning you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2. Dating Sophie Turner At the beginning the spring breeze of May blows southward along the port of Southampton, following the sailing route of the Titanic towards the wide and deep English sea. The quaint and tidy Lin Gang Street is bustling with people. Although it's not yet summer, the streets are already filled with youthful and beautiful short skirts. Gu Ran stood outside Costa Coffee Shop on the corner of Lin Gang Street, his eyes staring like light bulbs, Staring blankly at the reflective glass of the coffee shop, he is really not looking at the fluttering mini skirts in the wind, nor is he looking at the blonde men and women communicating in the CAFA. He is just looking at himself in the reflective glass. A young, handsome, yet bewildered self. Take out the Apple IV and check the time, May 20, 2010 at 11.38 a.m. has Lousy been reborn. And, has it been reborn back to the high school days when I studied in the UK in 2010? Just a few minutes ago, Gurant's last memory was on November 17, 2022, when he witnessed the scene of the hometown county level team joined by two players who usually play together. After the game of knocking out the Goan team, he and his other teammates drank all night until the scene was fragmented. When I woke up, I actually stood outside the Costa CAFA in Southampton. Everything happened so suddenly I haven't even had time to watch the Qatar World Cup yet. Feeling the familiar sea breeze of Southampton, looking at the face in the reflective glass, Gu Ran is striving to control his emotions. But finally I couldn't hold my tension he grinned wildly and foolishly. Earned. Earned ah ah. After reading so many online novels, it's finally my turn to be reborn. In the first half of my life, I was filled with regrets and emotions that were hard to reconcile, and so many wrong choices finally, I can wait, hold on. Don't set a flag yet. Anyway, at least 12 years of youth have already been earned. Dee Dee Dee. At this moment, the ringtone of the Apple IV phone suddenly rang. Caller. Sophie Turner. Gu Rant's eyebrows twitched slightly, and a memory of the past surged into his heart. Sophie Turner, Gu Rant's classmate while studying in the UK, and also the daughter of the landlord. Sophie is the school bell of Southampton Private High School. She not only excels in both character and education, but also shows great acting talent at a young age. She is a popular female lead in the school's drama club. And no one would know that in six months, Sophie Turner will be awarded the role of Shan Sha in the classic American drama Game of Thrones. With her superb acting skills, she will rise to fame and become a world-class hot star. Before his rebirth, Gu Ran naturally wouldn't know that Sophie would become a world star in the future. At that time, he was a typical bookworm with all his heart set on studying hard and striving to get into the University of Southampton. He didn't pay much attention to the situation after the beautiful daughter of the landlord went to film. It wasn't until a few years later when he saw Song of Ice and Fire, 
on the screen that he realized he was passing by with future big stars cough after roast, Gu Ran quickly adjusted his mood and connected the phone. Good afternoon. Before Gu Ran could finish greeting, Sophie's angry voice came from across. Shit. You stood outside the CAFA and giggled foolishly for five minutes, then greeted me with a good afternoon. I said Gu, you're not trying to make the whole school laugh at me. Sophie found an idiot to be her boyfriend, are you? Ah. Uh. Gu Ran suddenly remembered that his former self had indeed had a month-long relationship with Sophie. Of course, it's just pretending to be in a relationship. Sophie, in order to get rid of the persistent entanglement of her senior classmates, often finds a tenant, Gu Ran, to pretend to be her boyfriend and go out on dates from time to time, in order to dispel the constant distractions of her suitors. In Sophie's opinion, these guys who haven't grown their hair all the way are little brats who don't understand anything and are not worth wasting time as a goddess. As a gesture of gratitude, Sophie promised to help Gu Ran with his English poetry recitation and correct his accent when she had free time. And today, this CAFA is where they had their first public date. Of course, in her previous life, this fake date only lasted for four weeks before Sophie got the opportunity to audition for Power Play, and she never returned to school until Gu Ran graduated from high school. Two people thus walk into two different worlds, without any intersection. Dot. After a moment of silence, Sophie on the other end of the phone exclaimed angrily, I've said so much, can you just reply to me with one tone? Although we're just acting, you still have to respect the signed contract, right? Humph, you Chinese people know how to study and solve problems all day long. In real life, you can't even play a date. Can I ask you to come in quickly? Don't procrastinate outside. After speaking, I hung up the phone directly. Hee hee, this little girl has a big temper. Gu Ran smiled helplessly, picked up his phone, and pushed the door into the CAFA. The lights in the CAFA are dim, and the aroma of coffee beans is strong. The melodious theme song of Titanic plays a romantic melody in a loop. When Gu Ran looked around looking for his girlfriend, he didn't notice a female waiter hurriedly walking towards him carrying a tray. Coincidentally, the waiter only paid attention to the stability of the coffee cups in the tray and didn't notice Gu Ran parked in the hallway. Bang! The two collided with each other. Gu Ran was quick-witted and helped the female waiter hold on to the tray. Fortunately, the tray was held up. However, the cups in the tray still fell to the ground and the coffee spilled all over the floor. Sorry, sir. The waiter quickly apologized. It's okay. Gu Ran instinctively answered, and a system prompt suddenly rang out in his mind. Light, feeling 38 negative emotions from Tina Simpson, bubble formation. Tina Simpson is the waiter in front of her. Negative emotions at 38 points. I can't tell, this polite apology guy has quite a lot of resentment in his heart that's right, after all, if you spill coffee and need to clean the floor, you also need to make a new cup. Maybe we'll have to be urged by customers and scolded by the boss. Wait. Bubbles. What? Perhaps I have not only been reborn, but also gained an extra gold at that moment, Gu Ran's heart began to beat violently, and then he noticed that there was an additional bubble under his feet, emitting a dim glow at some point. A bubble with a diameter of about 20 centimeters. Gu Ran looked around and found that whether it was the waiter himself who had squatted down again to clean up the debris on the ground, or other customers who were looking over here, there was no surprised expression on his face. Is it true that only oneself can see it? Gu Ran walked quietly towards the bubble and touched it with his foot. The gray and dark bubbles were immediately shattered by his touch, turning into a ray of light and merging into Gu Ran's body. The host has picked up a skill from the damaged bubble. Hand charge, plus one, and today's pickup progress is January 10th. Hand punching technique. Gu Ran felt a strange wave of information rush into his mind, and he immediately understood the situation of the skill. 
he can continuously brew mixed drinks such as coffee and milk tea by hand for an hour without feeling sore. Gu Ran. Dot. Do I need the skill of making coffee and milk tea by hand continuously for an hour to dry yarn? I don't know how to work at a coffee shop. And what's so remarkable about having sore hands or not? Can this Nima also be considered a skill? Damn it. Gu Ran couldn't resist roast. Gu, this way. What are you still standing there for? In the corner of the CAFA, a tall and outstanding beautiful girl leaned out and shouted at him. It's Sophie Turner, who is 16 years old. Although Sophie is only 16 years old, she is already 175 years tall. She has blonde hair and blue eyes, standard facial features, long legs and a slender waist. The only shortcoming in her body is probably the pair of A's on her chest. Because she was going to play a date, Sophie Turner deliberately put on beautiful makeup. When she stood up, her fan A dot lined skirt and two long legs, like ivory chopsticks, stood out at the coffee table. At this moment, Sophie was elegantly holding a pair of slender arms in front of A, with a slightly chubby baby face clearly showing displeasure. Light, feeling 17 negative emotions from Sophie Turner, the system is generating bubbles. Is this okay too? Gu Ran, who felt like he hadn't done anything, was stunned for a moment and suddenly realized it. With a strange expression on his face, he walked straight toward Sophie Turner five meters away the bubble in front of me walked away. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 White Brokerage of Sophie's Skills You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 White Brokerage of Sophie's Skills Sophie Turner sat back in her seat with a cold and pretty face, full of anger. On the desktop directly in front of A, there was a gray and dark bubble floating that only Gu Ran could see. The shape of this bubble is incomplete, even smaller than the one dropped by the female server. Gu Ran sat in front of Sophie, his gaze disdainful but still hungry, staring tightly at the bubble. Is this too small? Gu Ran couldn't help but shake his head with regret. How could it be so small? Oh. I understand. Just now the system prompted that Sophie's current negative emotion value is only 17 points, so this bubble is much smaller in shape than the bubble with a negative emotion value of 38 points. It seems that the size of bubbles is influenced by negative emotional values. I don't know what skills are hidden inside the bubbles that Sophie dropped Sophie, who excels in both character and education, as a future superstar, feels very good whether it's her standard English speaking skills, acting skills, or other subjects that she has fallen behind. Gu Ran's heart twitched, and he couldn't help but look forward with fiery eyes. When his fingertips touched the bubble, it shattered and turned into a ray of light, merging into Gu Ran's body. Light, the host has picked up a skill from the damaged bubbles. Unbutting the chest, plus one, and today's pickup progress is February 10th. Reminder. This skill can enhance the host's proficiency in unlocking chest buttons. Even with complex chest button structures, it can be easily unlocked. Chest unbuttoning. Gu Ran was taken aback. Could it be that my second Olympics? What skills are these? I am a big man, what do I need to do with the skill of unbuttoning my chest? I'm not wearing it. Wait a minute, my skills don't weigh me down. Who knows when I'll need it Gu Rant's eyes froze, his arm stiffened, and he then withdrew, casually picking up the menu on the table as if nothing had happened. Sophie was startled by his movements and expressions just now, her pretty face embarrassed, and she involuntarily withdrew her body with her hands covering her chest. I didn't notice any abnormality in Sophie's facial expressions and movements. At this moment, Gu Ran's entire mind was focused on studying bubbles. Because he just noticed a change in a number. Today's pickup progress is February 10th. Does this mean that I can only pick up a maximum of 10 bubble skills per day? It seems that not all bubbles should be picked up like these two dimly colored bubbles just now, it seems that the ones picked up are useless garbage skills, right? 
Perhaps some of the gray and dark bubbles are due to the fact that the dropper itself does not have any good or high dot level skills. Or is it possible to add that the negative emotions are not high enough? But the size of the bubble is highly likely due to the negative emotional value of the dropped person not being high enough. The gray and dark bubbles of a female waitress should belong to a situation where she already lacks good skills. Sophie's gray and dark bubbles should belong to a situation where she has good skills but not enough negative emotions. In terms of Sophie's abilities, she must have hidden higher dot level skill bubbles. Just. How can we increase Sophie's negative emotional value? Just as Gu Ran was holding the menu in his hand and scanning Sophie up and down with his fiery gaze, she couldn't bear it anymore. She covered her chest with both hands and stuttered, criticizing, Gu, call. Call you play boyfriend, not call you play hooligan. What? Gu Ran finally realized, but couldn't explain anything. He quickly changed the topic and said, Ahem, I don't understand what you're saying, Sophie. Let's order. Sophie, however, refused to let him go and said, Explain in advance what took advantage of me just now. No. Absolutely not. Gu Ran had no choice but to raise his hand and surrender, saying, It's all a misunderstanding. Besides, how can you give me any advantage? Although we may seem like lovers on the surface, I've always treated you like a buddy, really. There is no advantage to take advantage of. Treat me as a buddy. Sophie's forehead turned black, and a storm began to gather on her pretty face. European and American girls develop early, starting to pay attention to their body shape at the age of 15 or 16. Sophie has impressive long legs and a typical British Southern beauty appearance, but only her lack of confidence in A on her chest. Now being said by Gu Ran that she has no advantage to take and treats her like a buddy, Sophie is not in a hurry to blame. Light, feeling negative emotions from Sophie Turner at 65 points, the system is generating bubbles. 65 o'clock. Why is it so high? Gu Ran was greatly shocked and couldn't figure out which sentence he had offended the female employer with. Did you explain clearly just now? But in an instant, Gu Ran could no longer think about this question, because he saw a large bubble with a sky blue luster reappearing on the table in front of Sophie. The blue bubbles have a complete and full shape, with an extraordinary temperament. You can tell at a glance that they are definitely higher dot level skill bubbles. Gu Ran immediately reached out his hand in hunger and thirst Sophie on the other side had not yet started to rage when she saw Gu Ran's gaze once again hot on her chest, stretching her wolf paw towards her. Finally, she couldn't bear it anymore and angrily patted the table, you said you're not a thug. You came back in less than a minute. Gu Ran. Later, I'll date you again, and Sophie Turner will. Wash your dirty clothes for three months. After speaking, Sophie walked out without looking back. She walked very fast, afraid that Gu Ran would catch up and hold her, begging for her forgiveness. In fact, she originally had some fondness for this handsome and simple Asian boy, otherwise she wouldn't have deliberately asked him to play the role of a boyfriend and go on a date with her. She actually had the idea of pretending to be a good fit in her heart. But it turned out like this on her first date, and Sophie secretly made up her mind that she was really blinded by lard. This time, no matter how much Gu Ran tried to coax her, she wouldn't forgive her. Unfortunately, the culprit is sitting there happily, indifferent to the girl's departure, because the beautiful bubbles she dropped are still there after she left. Now you can pick it up without any hesitation. Gu Ran quickly reached out to touch. The blue bubbles burst into a colorful and dazzling burst, transforming into a ray of light and merging into his body. Light, the host picked up from the filled bubbles. Stanislav Sky System Acting Realism plus one, today's pickup progress is March 10th. Kind reminder. Your acting skills are lifelike, especially when playing the roles of silly and innocent people, showing your true colors. Comfortable now. I finally got a reliable skill for free, even though it seems more suitable for women. Gu Ran felt very satisfied in his heart. 
His speculation about bubbles is correct, which means that no matter who has professional skills, Gu Ran can come over for free by picking up bubbles. The conditions for the formation of bubbles are nothing more than causing the other party to have negative emotions towards themselves build your own satisfaction on the dissatisfaction of others. Just think about it, and your satisfaction doubles. As for Sophie, who ran out in a fit of anger, don't worry about comforting her for now. Wait for her to get angry for a while, and then look for a chance to compensate. No big deal, it's not impossible to accompany her in acting honestly in the future, and even hand wash her drinks a few times. The urgent task now is to seize the time to study the underlying logic of this system and how to apply the picking skills. After this rebirth, Gu Ran never expected such a surprising harvest. He couldn't wait to start planning his perfect life. On the other side, Sophie stormed out of the CAFA in anger, standing on the steps outside with a face full of grievances in a daze. She thought Gu Ran would come out and apologize, but the other party seemed to have ignored her at all. What's wrong with this guy today? Like a different person from usual, oh, isn't this Sophie? What a coincidence. Just as she couldn't figure it out, a rough voice came from far to near. Sophie looked up in astonishment, only to see a strong boy with a tiger back and a bare waist, and a bald back, leading several other boys whistling towards her. Rust, rust strips. Sophie's face flashed with a hint of panic, and she instinctively wanted to turn around and escape back to the coffee shop. The strong boy, however, took a step faster than her and stopped her, saying, Miss Sophie, what did you think about the invitation to be the cheerleader of our team? The cup match is about to start, and if you can be my girlfriend, you will definitely be the most dazzling one in the school in the next year. Sophie forced a smile and said, Rust Strip, I'm sorry, I already have a boyfriend. Rusty Strip frowned and said, Who? Sophie suddenly had an inspiration and glanced at the guy in the CAFA who was still immersed in joy and couldn't extricate herself from the window, pointing angrily. He. An Asian. Does he also deserve it? The strong man, nicknamed Russ Stripe, clenched his fists and stormed into the coffee shop with a group of people in a fierce manner. Dot. Sophie suddenly saw that these guys were hiding butterfly knives and iron wrenches behind their backs. There's another guy who seems to have a meteor hammer stuffed behind his butt. Sophie's pretty face instantly changed color and she quickly chased in, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Real Acting Show your love and love, turn the stage. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Real Acting Show your love and love, turn the stage. Rust Strips led their brothers into Costa CAFA with a ferocious spirit. The coffee shop, which was originally quite charming, suddenly fell silent. The guests all looked in terror, afraid that their gaze would attract unnecessary trouble. Only Gu Ran sat with his back, completely unaware that his rival was approaching. Gu Ran is still happily studying his bubble system. For the underlying logic of the system, Gu Ran has basically figured it out. Next, it is best to make full use of the negative emotional system and engage in more free prostitution, especially with more professional skills. However, small places like Southampton don't seem to have many influencers or celebrities. Southampton actually has a very famous hometown team, just as Gu Ran's consciousness was wandering, a large hand, like an iron rake, landed heavily on Gu Ran's shoulder. With a hiss, Gu Ran almost cursed out a line of national essence. Gu Ran frowned and turned back to see the ferocious rust strip on his face. As soon as Rust Stripe saw Gu Ran's delicate face, he couldn't help but vent his anger and said, What kind of person do I think I am? It turns out I'm just a weak chicken. You're the only one who deserves to be Sophie's boyfriend. For the character in front of him, nicknamed Rust Stripe, Gu Ran still has an impression in his memory 12 years ago. Rust Bar's real name is Chris Dick, and he is the main center back of the Buck Steel Horn team at Southampton Private High School. This guy is as sturdy as an iron tower, 
standing 1.88 meters tall and weighing 93 kilograms. He has both muscles and fat, making him a high school version of the Harry Maguire small aircraft carrier. The key is that this guy loves to be hot-headed the most. In the inter-school league, he has also done a feat of flying the main referee and chasing the opposing striker to the locker room. The strong guys behind Russ Stripe, like Russ Stripe, are also one of the top bad guys on the Southampton school team. It can be said that the private schools in Southampton, from top to bottom, are not afraid of teachers and students, and anyone who sees them wants to avoid them. In the previous life, Gu Ran had no interaction with people like Russ Stripe. Because in the previous life, Gu Ran only had this lunch with Sophie quietly and uninteresting, and then left quietly and uninteresting, without the situation where Sophie happened to be seen by Rust Barr and others after rushing out the door. But now, the fate after rebirth has changed. Rust Strip. What are you doing? Sophie ran in nervously and pushed away the hand that Rust Strip was pressing on Gu Rant's shoulder. Seeing Sophie's nervous expression, Rust Stripe immediately became jealous and said, Sophie, why are you so nervous about him? TSK TSK, this weak Asian chicken still needs to be protected by you as a girl. The brothers behind Rust Stripe immediately began to coax, with various mocking whistles flying around. Gu Ran frowned slightly. He was all focused on thinking about how to find useful skill bubbles. Originally, he didn't want to pay attention to people like Rust Stripe, but since everyone was mocking him, he couldn't get used to it. Just as Gu Ran was about to speak, Sophie quickly took Gu Rant's arm and said, Gu, don't pay attention to them. Let's go. When Sophie held on to Gu Ran, she secretly pinched her arm with her fingertips, indicating that Gu Ran should not be impulsive. Gu Ran gave Sophie a slight smile and had no intention of leaving. Do you want to leave? Russ Stripe blocked the way with his strong iron tower-like body, and with a sinister smile on his lips, he said, how can we pick the school flower of our Southampton private high school for you like a weak Asian? Unless your kid says to cut ties with Sophie himself, you won't be able to stand and walk out of this coffee shop today. As he spoke, Rustbar forcefully squeezed his fist. His fist joints crackled, and the muscles under his sports shirt swelled dramatically. The bad guys behind him also put on a fight, crossed their legs, tilted their chin, and looked down at Gu Ran from below their nostrils. If it had been twelve years ago, such a battle would have left Gu Ran, a bookworm, at a loss and so nervous that his legs trembled. But now, with twelve more years of life experience, Gu Ran completely disregards such small scenes. Gu Ran not only remained calm, but also had a hint of hidden joy in his heart. This is a great opportunity to acquire professional skill bubbles. You're just a rust bar, right? Gu Ran said, I've heard of you being very reckless. When I saw you today, you really lived up to your reputation. Rust Stripe sneered, although you're praising me, I won't let you go for it. Sleeping trough. How could you mistake recklessness for praising you? Gu Ran's head was suddenly covered in black lines. It seems that if you want the rust strip to generate negative emotions, you can't say it too eloquently, you need some stimulation. Rust strip, aren't you curious why Sophie is interested in me? Speaking, Gu Ran turned around and gave Sophie an affectionate glance. That gaze was full of tenderness and honey, without any trace of performance. Sophie's delicate body trembled uncontrollably. This is the first time she has felt such a real love emotion. And Rust Bar's face became very ugly. Gu Ran gently grasped Sophie's tender hand in his arms and continued to show affection, the answer is actually very simple. I'm handsome enough. As soon as these words were spoken, many spectators in the CAFA even nodded along. Gu Ran is 1.8 meters tall, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes. His already handsome face is adorned with a calm and mature gentleman-like smile. Even the brothers behind Rust Stripe couldn't help but nod secretly, acknowledging Gu Ran's handsomeness. Rust Stripe exclaimed in frustration, handsome ass. Sophie. Look at my muscles. 
Rust rolled up his sleeves, revealing his biceps, which were as thick as his thighs. His arm muscles creaked as if they were about to burst. Sophie's behavior of being held in hand by Gu Ran and secretly pinching made her heart ache like a deer. The teasing and stimulation at a dangerous moment made her face blush and her heart beat. This is the real man glancing at the rusty strips muscles mixed with fat again, Sophie couldn't help but roll her eyes. Then Sophie coquettishly turned to Gu Ran and said, Disgusting, I'm not just dating you because you're handsome. Gu Ran smiled indulgently at Sophie and said, I know, I was about to introduce my other strengths to Rust Bar. This mature and charming spoiled smile almost made Sophie Turner fall on the spot. Is this really that bookworm Gu Ran? How did you suddenly become so charming? Did he really fall in love with me? Why didn't I see it before? No, no, I don't want to start dating so early. Sophie held on to her flat chest with one hand, trying to control her already somewhat decelerating heartbeat, while the other hand was still affectionately hanging in Gu Rant's arm. There were only a few ordinary lines of dialogue between the two, but with the eyes, micro-expressions, and movements of both sides, it was simply a live show of affection. The entire coffee shop's customers are stuffed with dog food. Gu Ran breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Ha! So this is Stanislavski's system of acting. Realism. It's really useful. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Picks up a reverse divine skill. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 picks up a reverse divine skill. This Bon loves to show off and is about to drive Rust Stripe crazy. Asian Weak Chicken. Quickly say, what are your strengths? I want to compete with you. I want Sophie to know that I am the strongest. Compared to the impatience of Rust Stripe, Gu Ran appeared very calm. Gu Ran smiled meaningfully and reached out to pick up Sophie's beautiful chin. I have to say it, he said Sophie's whole body felt as if she had been electrocuted. Although she wanted to resist, her delicate body almost leaned against Gu Rant's body, and her tone was extremely gentle and considerate. Hmm. At this point, I'm not afraid to tell you. Gu Rant's words were supposed to be addressed to Rust Stripe, but his gaze had never left Sophie's large blue and clear eyes, actually, we have been living together for a long time, and it has been almost a month already. Sophie's parents all know that they welcome me very much and treat me like a family. Am I right, Sophie? Hmm. Sophie nodded without even thinking. This is actually a fact. Of course, Gu Ran did not say that he paid the money seriously. Schwa. Everyone's gaze on the scene was focused on the school flower of Southampton Private School. This is an explosive rumor. Sophie, the most obedient and self-dot-centered campus flower of Southampton Private School, surprisingly has long been Sophie also realized at this moment that something seemed wrong. But my head has already been nodded, where else can I explain? But if we don't explain, isn't that equivalent to admitting that she's doing that with Gu Ran? Sophie blushed with embarrassment and wished she could dig out a cemetery with her toes to bury herself. Gu Ran took advantage of the heat and raised an eyebrow at Rust Bar with a, you understand, expression. Now, do you understand? Wow. The small coffee shop is shaking. Sophie herself understood Gu Ran's meaning and anxiously and shyly twisted her waist around him. TSK this is sour and refreshing. Gu Ran remained motionless, with a realistic smile on his face. The rust strip on the opposite side pondered for a while with force, what does that mean? Rust Stripe looked back at his brother in confusion and asked, he. Exactly. Lying trough. Brother, do you have to make me say those words that don't meet the broadcasting standards? Gu Ran is crazy about roast. Fortunately, at this moment, the brother behind Rust Stripe whispered a few words in Rust Stripe's ear. What? My goddess. Rust Chiao's eyes turned red as he paused, unsure if he wanted to cry, kill, or both. We don't have the natural liberation acting skills yet. 
Light, feeling negative emotions from Sophie Turner at 9 o'clock, the system is generating bubbles. Lying in bed, natural liberation, doesn't mean to just come, right? However, with a negative emotional value of 9 points, one should not be able to obtain professional skill bubbles. Speaking of which, Sophie, I'm helping you. Why are you still feeling emotional? You're still pinching me. Alas, this little girl's thoughts are really incomprehensible. Sooner or later, I have to pinch it back. Gu Ran glanced and indeed saw a gray and dark incomplete bubble forming under Sophie's feet. Before Gu Ran could pick it up, another system prompt sounded. Light, feeling 85 negative emotions from Chris Dick, the system is generating bubbles. 85 o'clock. Oh. Rust strips are really easy to get stuck on. This should be the highest negative emotion value currently. Gu Ren felt a sense of relief in his heart. He saw a large bubble with a sky blue luster emerging from the feet of the rust strip. This is definitely a bubble with professional football skills hidden inside. Light, feeling negative emotions from Villard Zaklay at 31 points, the system is generating bubbles. Light, feeling 35 negative emotions from Milton Lucerne, the system is generating bubbles. Light, feeling negative emotions from Buck Fred at 38 points, the system is generating bubbles. Light, feeling 44 negative emotions from Payne Lair, the system is generating bubbles. Light, feeling the arrival of negative emotions at 55 points from Hanson Chester, system bubble generation. Gu Ran looked around, and bubbles of all sizes appeared under the feet of Rust Stripe and his bad guys. These bubbles, without exception, are all within a range of 5 meters around Gu Rant's body. The other spectators in the CAFA were also influenced by Xiao Nai, but they did not show any drops. This indicates that 5 meters around the body is the range of the system's pickup. At least until the personal rating of the system is improved, only bubbles within a range of 5 meters around the body can be dropped. After understanding the logic of this system, Gu Ran felt a sense of satisfaction. Such a simple show of affection, how could one waste so many skills? I don't know how many football professional skills there will be. No matter how much it is, just pick it up first before we talk. Gu Ran calmly touched the incomplete bubble under Sophie's feet with his toes, and then walked directly towards the rust strip, knocking it and the bubbles under his brother's feet apart in one breath. Seven bubbles each transformed into seven different strands of light, converging inside Gu Rant's body. Lamp the host has picked up a skill from the damaged bubbles. Wearing and taking off socks technique plus one foot. Today's pickup progress is April 10th. Wearing and removing stockings. This must be a skill from Sophie. Do you still need skills to wear and take off stockings? Isn't it okay to have hands? Even if it's not with my hands, I can use my mouth. A negative emotion value of 9 points, indeed only useless skills can be picked up. Waste my time picking up progress. Gu Ran secretly complained in her heart. Light, reminder. When using the technique of putting on and taking off stockings, it can make the process smoother and smoother. However, since you are not yet proficient enough, there is a high chance that you will break the stockings. Gu Ran. If that's the case. This skill can't be considered useless. It's quite torture. Light the host picked up the results from ordinary bubbles. Core muscle group training plus 10 hours, today's picking progress is May 10th. Achievements. This is a new pickup category. Finally, it's serious. It seems that ordinary bubbles dropped by professionals can pick up their corresponding professional training results. Others diligently practice for 10 hours to achieve results, while I only need to pay for it for free to have it. This is simply not too exciting. Gu Ran's heart was overjoyed. Light the host picked up the results from ordinary bubbles. Upper limb and back muscle training plus 10 hours, today's pickup progress is 6 tenths. Light the host picked up the result from ordinary bubbles. Bouncing ball training plus 10 hours, today's picking progress is July 10th. 
Light the host picked up the result from ordinary bubbles. Long pass rush suspension tactics class plus 10 hours, today's pickup progress is August 10th. Light the host has picked up a skill from a regular bubble. Exam cheating technique plus 1. Today's pickup progress is September 10th. Sleeping trough. Okay, why did a strange skill sneak in? The training results of the first few ordinary bubble baijiu are all very good, but what kind of skill is cheating in this exam? Gu Ran couldn't help complaining in his heart. The system really provided an explanation. Reminder. When taking the written exam, you can cheat by bringing your own cheat sheet. Your cheating score may exceed your normal score, but your chances of being caught by the invigilator will greatly increase. It is not ruled out that you may experience discomfort symptoms such as tension, dizziness, and vomiting during the cheating process. Second Olympics Do I still have to make my own notes, Nima? There is only a certain chance that cheating will exceed the normal score. The probability of being caught has greatly increased what Big Brother's reverse magic is this Nima. No, no, no. Guran wanted to give up this reverse magic, but this exam cheating technique has already penetrated into the nervous system and cannot be forgotten at all. Sigh anyway, with my own grades, there's no need to cheat. There is still one last blue skill bubble left. This bubble is the professional skill bubble generated by 85 negative emotional points of rust bar. Rust strip. Don't be fooling your father. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. You, a Chinese person, actually want to compete with me on the ball. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6. You, a Chinese person, actually want to compete with me on the ball. Gu Ran took a deep breath and quickly touched the full blue bubble at the foot of the rust strip with his toes. The bubbles that only Gu Ran could see exploded brilliantly, turning into a blue light thread and merging into Gu Rant's body. Light, the host picked up professional football skills from the filled bubbles. Reasonable collision plus one, today's pickup progress is October 10th. Reminder. Reasonable collision skills will significantly increase your collision and recoil forces, but at the same time, it will also consume a lot of your physical energy, increasing your chances of getting injured. By raising the level of reasonable collision skills, your impact and recoil forces will increase, and your physical energy consumption and chances of getting injured will also decrease. Handsome. Finally, I have a professional football skill. Moreover, this skill is very practical. In British football culture, physical collision is a very basic and common situation. The skill of collision is not only one of the essential skills for defenders to defend, but also one of the essential skills for forwards to steal points. At the moment when the skills converged into the nerves, Gu Ran felt the muscles throughout his body filled with unprecedented strength. Gu Ran felt like a different person, and the scholarly aura on his body instantly faded away, becoming more upright and tough. It's already handsome enough, combined with the results of 10 hours of free sports training, it looks even more handsome. Gu Ran patted the shoulder of Rust Stripe, who was still in a daze, and said. Thank you. Rust Stripe became angry with embarrassment and pounced on Gu Ran like a crazy bear, fake. You weak Asian chicken, how dare you take the initiative to stand in front of me and provoke me. I'm going to kill you. Rust Strip. I don't want you to harm Gu Ran. Sophie urgently wanted to block Gu Rant's body. Rust Stripe became even angrier as he took out a copper finger tiger from his pocket and put it on his hand. Sophie, move away. Move away. The atmosphere of the entire CAFA suddenly became tense. Gu Ran remained calm in the face of danger, blocking Sophie behind him with one hand and holding onto the hot coffee pot on the dining table with the other. Want to fight? All right. We Chinese people have never been afraid of anything, and if you want to risk our lives, I will accompany you to the end. But if you lose in the fight, you'll go to the hospital. If you win, you'll go to the police station. Can you bear the cost? 
Rust Stripe waved the copper finger tiger on his fist and roared angrily, No matter what you say today, I will beat you up. If it weren't for the brothers behind him reacting and grabbing the rust strip in time, the goods would have rushed forward regardless of the consequences. Gu Ran reminded in a deep voice, Next week is the National Student Football Tournament of the Genius Cup, right? I think you all know the importance of this cup match better than me. If you are hospitalized or taken to the police station due to a fight at this time, guess what the school will do to you? The fierce energy on Rust Stripe's face immediately collapsed. Gu Ran is right. At this time, it is the most crucial period for the Buck Steelhorn team to prepare for the All England High School Genius Cup football match. Starting from next Wednesday, the Buck Steelhorn team will face three strong opponents in the Southern Division, and each round of the game is quite important. If they can advance to the group stage in the Southern Region, they can break the historical record and reach the top 16 in the country. If they can create a miracle and reach the national top four, every player in the team can be directly recommended to the sports department of the University of Southampton, and may also be selected by professional clubs. Rust Barr is the main center back of the school team, and he has been reminded by the coach not to cause trouble during this period. If you really go to the hospital or bureau because of a fight with Gu Ran, then Rust Stripe will be ruined for the rest of his life. Sophie watched helplessly as the Rust Bar transformed from a ferocious and vicious state to a lethargic state, and took an incredible breath. Gu Ran, how impressive in just a few words, he took control of the whole scene and made Rust Bar, like this guy, admit it. And how do you feel that Gu Ran is handsome again? I shouldn't be Sophie felt her heart pounding uncontrollably. And. Gu Ran continued calmly, if I go to the hospital, my dear Sophie will take care of me personally. When food comes, she will open her mouth, stretch out her clothes, and even help me go to the bathroom. So fighting is completely indifferent to me, but what about you? Sophie blushed with embarrassment and secretly reached out to pinch Gu Ran's waist. What does it mean to always help you use the restroom? What am I helping? I won't help you. Sophie became more and more shy as she thought, her face turning red to the bottom of her ankles. Rust Stripe was incompetent and furious. Asian kid, you, you, me, I, mom provoke fake. He really wants to take Gu Ran to the hospital. But the thought of Gu Ran being able to enjoy Sophie's care after entering the hospital made Rust Stripe want to kill herself first. Seeing that the situation was about to end, Gu Ran calmly said, Rust Stripe, since you're all here to grab my girlfriend, as a man, I should give you some response. I'll tell you, Sophie, it's mine. Speaking, Gu Ran held on to Sophie's slender waist in front of everyone, domineeringly. Sophie is completely dumbfounded. She instinctively wanted to struggle, but for some reason, her body got closer and closer. Gu Ran continued, Rust Stripe, I know you're definitely not convinced. Let's have a try. Sophie is the school bell of Southampton Private High School, and only the winner between us can match her. Rust Stripe's gaze suddenly lit up and he said, Asian kid, what do you want to compete for? Gu Ran said, you're definitely not good at learning, so choose one that you're good at. Aren't you a key player on the school team? And for me, I'm just an ordinary person from a football poor country in China who hasn't practiced before. Sophie can testify to this, right, dear? Sophie, who was still immersed in Gu Rant's domineering embrace, suddenly called out, dear, and nodded obediently. She has never seen Gu Ran play football before, she has only seen Gu Ran practice questions. Gu Ran gave Sophie a spoiled smile before turning to Russ Stripe and saying, but I'm willing to give you this opportunity to use your best football to have a war between men. Rust Stripe was overjoyed and said, I didn't hear you wrong, did I? You actually want to compete with me in football. Do you believe that if I collide with you, you will have to go to the hospital ha ha? With a smile on his face, Rust Barr suddenly remembered Sophie help and his laughter froze. Sophie stomped her feet anxiously and said, Gu Ran. What are you joking about? Gu Ran continued to say to Rust Stripe, 
it's definitely unfair for you to be so strong in a one dot on point one confrontation. Why don't we compromise and just toss the ball? Rust Stripe quickly nodded and said with an ecstatic expression, Okay, okay. This is good. It's like bouncing the ball. Ha ha ha. You're sure to lose. Everyone heard you. The game bouncing the ball, only the winner deserves to pursue Sophie. The loser should take the initiative to quit. This is what this kid said himself. Sophie Xing's eyes widened and she said, What? I disagree. Gu ran. Ha ha ha. Rust Stripe shouted excitedly, Let's go. Let's go out and have a ball fight now. Hey, mom, find a ball for me. All right. The strong man, nicknamed Nyang Pao, chuckled and twisted his waist as he ran out of the coffee shop. The strong man is enchanting, what a sight. Gu Ren quickly shifted his gaze to Sophie and said, Don't worry, it's just a bouncing ball. I've seen it before, it's quite easy. As soon as these words were spoken, a burst of snickering echoed from the scene. Especially the rust strip, as if picking up the biggest bargain in the world, laughed the most harshly. Chinese kid. You really have guts. I'll be waiting for you outside. Don't be cowardly. Rust strips swayed his way out of the coffee shop. Sophie is about to cry. Sophie grabbed Gu Ran's arm and lowered her voice, pleading, Gu Ran. Gu Ran, can you stop making trouble? I'm begging you. Hurry up and cancel the bouncing game. If it's a big deal, I promise you I'll wash your dirty clothes when I get home. Sleeping trough. This proud little girl actually has time to beg for mercy. Gu Ran felt relieved and said, You need to wash dirty clothes, but I'm also serious about competing with rust stripes. You. Sophie stomped her feet in anger, Do you want to deliberately renege on our agreement? No, Gu Ran said innocently, I don't want him to harass you again in the future. Sophie was taken aback and then angrily said, Then you can't compare yourself to bouncing the ball. He's from the school team. You bookworm, how could you possibly win him? Gu Ran. What if I win? Sophie blurted out, If you can win, I'll do whatever you want me to do. It's a deal, Gu Ran said with a mature smile at the corner of his mouth Sophie was taken aback, and suddenly she had a feeling in her heart can't we. In a few minutes, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Didn't perform well. Let me do it again. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 7 Didn't perform well. Let me do it again. A few minutes later, outside Costa Cafe. Gu Ran and Rust Bar stood facing each other, and the passers-by surrounded them in the middle, with three layers inside and three layers outside. Watching the excitement is the nature of all humanity. Especially in the lively battle of love enemies. How dare this Chinese kid challenge the main force of the school team? What exactly is he thinking? When I was in a CAFA before, this Chinese kid's behavior was very calm. Why did he suddenly drift away? I thought he was quite clever, but he took the initiative to challenge Rust Bar. Isn't this giving Rust Bar a good situation? He's so stupid. Ha ha ha. In my opinion, he may not be really stupid, but shrewd. He must have gotten tired of playing with Sophie and wanted to find an excuse to get rid of her. It's really possible that you said that. Mom, provoke fake. Damn Chinese, can you just put on your pants and leave? Rust strip, get him. Get him. Has anyone opened the game? I bet on this Chinese kid three times, and he can't even hit 30 balls. Me and me. I also follow. The bouncing ball showdown did not officially begin, and the onlookers were already filled with negative emotions. Gu Ran sighed inwardly and shook his head. The maximum pickup limit for today is already full. Otherwise, he could have picked up a street full of skills and achievements. Waste, waste. After this matter is over, after returning home, 
make sure to free up your hands and study how to improve the system rating. Seeing Gu Ran shaking his head slightly, Rust Jiao suddenly became arrogant and proud. Hee hee, Chinese kid, are you afraid? Now give up Sophie and give up. At least you won't embarrass yourself. If you really compare, you'll lose face. Gu Ran smiled and said, let's start, you come first. Humph, count it for me now. Rust Strip took the football and started bouncing it. The bad guys next to him loudly counted the Rust Strips. One. Two. Three. Four. The rusty ball felt careless, and his body was strong but not agile. He only bounced 19 times on his first attempt. The onlookers were somewhat disdainful of such achievements. After all, this is England, the birthplace of modern football. Even by non-professional school team standards, such bouncing is not qualified. The rusty strip wiped the sweat off his forehead and said, the previous time was a warm dot up, but this time I'm really going to come. One. Two. Three. Four. In the shouting of the brothers, Rust Bar began the second round of bouncing the ball. The second time the ball was bounced, Rust Bar broke through its previous record with a total of 50 bounces. The atmosphere of onlookers is still somewhat awkward. 50 bouncing balls is not a high number, and the movements are not at all elegant and beautiful, but this competition is only about quantity. The first two times were warm dot up sessions, and the third time is my true strength, said Rust Stripe as he wiped the sweat off his nose. One. Two. Three. Four. In the shouting of the brothers, Rust Bar began the third round of bouncing the ball. In the end, the number of rusty bars bouncing was only 37. Rust Strips wiped the sweat off his chin and said with a calm expression, actually. It's meaningless to have too many bumps. A maximum of 50 is enough. Chinese kid, it's your turn. Speaking, Rust Bar threw the football towards Gu Ran. Gu Ran took over the football, and his heart suddenly filled with infinite emotions. In his previous life, he had a passion for football since he was young, but he didn't have time to play, let alone formal training. He could only use his leisure time to make plans with three or five friends to watch and play football after returning to his home country and starting work. Although he started very late, his friends said he was very talented, but unfortunately, at the age of 30, it is impossible for him to start his career from scratch. Now, Gu Ran has been reborn. A new career is right in front of him. How could this make him not tremble slightly from excitement? Gu Ran took a deep breath, worked hard to calm down his excited emotions, and began bouncing the ball. At the beginning, Gu Ran felt something was wrong. His memory of ball sensation in his previous life is still there, but his body in this life is a bit stiff, and the muscle and nerve memories in the previous life have not yet fully matched his body in this life. I barely bounced eight balls and then lost them. Sophie beside her was full of despair. Rust Stripe breathed a sigh of relief and laughed heartily, only eight. Kid, just give up. I bet you won't be able to bounce fifty balls in your lifetime. Gu Ran was not affected by the rusty trash talk at all, but took a deep breath and sank his heart. The muscle memory has been fully awakened, and the just picked up 10 hours of bouncing training results have also been activated immediately. Gu Ran moved his limbs and threw the football directly into the air. This throw is at least 4 or 5 meters high. All the onlookers on site exclaimed in surprise. Sophie's heart instantly reached her throat. How could there be such a bouncing ball? Isn't this looking for a loss? Rust Stripe and his brothers were laughing back and forth. For those who have not had contact with football, it is impossible to determine the landing point and timing of this high-throwing ball. Even if one can accurately judge the posture and strength of the foot, it is impossible to grasp it perfectly. Unless it's Ronaldinho or Messi, they can. Pop. The sarcastic words of Rust Bar did not fall, and the football landed precisely on Gu Rant's raised feet. 
the powerful and heavy falling ball was easily removed from most of its gravity, bouncing less than 10 centimeters high on Gu Rant's casual shoes. This stop is truly stunning. Rust strips are so dumbfounded. The brothers behind him are also dumbfounded. The onlookers all involuntarily gasped for breath. Are you blindfolded? Are these Chinese people Mongolian? Otherwise. Chinese Kung Fu. Just as everyone was shocked, Gu Ran quickly and skillfully alternated his feet, bouncing the ball continuously. Every time the ball falls to a lower position, Gu Ran kicks the ball. Moreover, at the end of each bouncing, try to apply a small, just right amount of forward rubbing force to the ball, giving it a certain sense of rotation and enhancing its hovering and stability. Every time he touches the ball, Gu Ran tries his best to touch it with the back of his foot close to his toes, and his toes are always in an upward position. This will create a cradle in the touch area, and even if there is a deviation in the touch area, he can make timely adjustments and remedies. Football is like an invisible elastic rope tied to Gu Ran's feet, bouncing steadily. Sophie widened her watery eyes, filled with indescribable surprises. Gu Ran is too cool, isn't he? The first time I was like a novice, but the second time I was like a football genius. Is it true that he is a football genius? Wait, shouldn't I be happy for him? As soon as Sophie thought of what she had just promised Gu Ran, she blushed with embarrassment. In less than half a minute, Gu Ran's dribbling count broke through 30 goals. Rust strips and others all opened their mouths wide, their eyes fluttering up and down with Gu Ran's bouncing ball. In less than a minute, Gu Ran's dribbling count exceeded 50. In less than two minutes, Gu Ran's dribbling count exceeded 100. And it's still continuing. Rust Stripe looked shocked and said, How could this be? How could this be? Gu Ran, however, seemed to have not heard it and remained immersed in the bouncing ball. The feeling of dopamine secretion is really refreshing all over the body. When the number of bouncing balls exceeded 100, Gu Ran changed his posture and mixed the inside and outside of his feet to bouncing the balls. After the number of bouncing balls exceeded 200, Gu Ran switched to front winding, back winding, thigh and head, shoulders, and shuttlecock flower footed bouncing. Yes, Gu Ran is a person who likes many postures. Those audience members around who were originally not optimistic about Gu Ran couldn't help but applaud and cheer for Gu Ran's brilliant performance at this moment. When Gu Ran's number of bouncing balls reached 361, the football rubbed against the outside of Gu Ran's casual shoes and bounced off. Except for the rusty strips and others, the surrounding audience cheered for Gu Ran. This one is really amazing. Gu Ran furrowed his brow slightly. I didn't perform well. I'll do it again. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Is time to do something big. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Is time to do something big. Damn it. He even installed it. Rust Stripe's face was full of shame and anger. There's no way, who said Gu Ran bounced 361 balls on his first attempt, while he only bounced 50 rust bars at most. It was a rusty strip, and I personally helped Gu Ran up to the seat. For Gu Ran, he is not trying to force himself, he is very serious about wanting to do it again. The dopamine secretion while playing football is really addictive. Moreover, Gu Ran also wants to try to break through the limits. This bouncing ball is far from reaching his highest level in the previous life. In his previous life, his highest record for bouncing was 874, and today's result is nearly half of his best from the previous life. If we analyze the reasons, firstly, I didn't wear suitable sneakers, and secondly, I didn't stretch well before bouncing the ball. But the most important reason is that after being reborn, the body's coordination and flexibility are still quite poor, and its physical fitness is also not up to standard. Being able to bounce over 300 balls in one breath is actually considered an exceptional level. However, if you don't play with flower work, it shouldn't be a problem to gently bounce the ball with the back of your foot for 5 to 600 times. 
Although my physical condition is a bit poor in this life, I am young. Being young means being full of drive from top to bottom. I'll do it again, I'll do it again. Gu ran ran to pick up the ball. No need. That's enough. Rust Stripe blushed and said dejectedly, Chinese kid, I admit. You won. Gu Ran was still unsatisfied and said, Why did you give up so quickly? How about? What just happened doesn't count, do you want me to do it again? Sophie Xing's eyes widened as she rushed over and fiercely twisted Gu Ran. You're done. Rust covered his face and roared, How insulting. You're not enough to insult me once, are you going to insult me again? Gu Ran hurriedly said, I didn't mean that. I just think. Playing football is quite simple. Just now, asking for another time was really not just a pretense, that's right. Sure enough, as soon as he spoke, Rust Stripe glared angrily at Gu Ran and said, Chinese kid. Don't go too far. Playing football is simple. Humph, aren't you just good at bouncing? Bouncing isn't all about football. I admit, I'm not as good as you at bouncing, I lost the game against you. I'm not qualified to compete with you for Sophie. Rust Stripe keeps her word, and I won't bother her again in the future. But I must tell you today. I, Rust Stripe, I'm not convinced. Chinese kid, you don't even understand what real football is. If you have the guts, let's compete with me on the real football field. This competition is not about Sophie, but purely between men. I will let you know what real football is. Real football competition. Gu Rant's eyebrows twitched slightly. This is actually a good path. If we can win their main center back in front of the entire football club, then there is a high probability of joining the school team. And as long as you join the school team, you have the opportunity to participate in the All England High School Cup and compete with national football experts. In the process of playing, there will be many opportunities to directly pick up professional football skills. With this in mind, Gu Ran immediately gave a calm smile and said, You're right, Rust Stripe. Kicking is not all about football, I really want to know what real football is. So, I accept your challenge. Today is Saturday, next Monday, I'll go back to the school football field to have a real football match with you. The rusty strip gave a thumbs up and said, you have guts. My brothers from the football club and I will be waiting for you on the football field. See you on Monday. After speaking, Russ Stripe walked up to Sophie with a calm face. Sophie instinctively leaned her body towards Gu Rant's side. Russ Stripe sighed and said, Sophie, I used to love you so much, but unfortunately we were never meant to be together. Can you give me your best friend Susanna's phone number? It's the one with a particularly big chest. Sophie twitched her lips slightly and said. Go. Okay, okay. Rust Stripe walked away with his brothers in a disheveled manner. The onlookers also dispersed in laughter. In no time, there were only Gu Ran and Sophie left at the entrance of the coffee shop. Let's go. Gu Ran was all focused on studying the system rating at home, not even looking back at Sophie. After all, there is no audience left, so there is no need for any realistic acting skills. Sophie blushed and asked calmly, where are you going? Gu Ran said, of course I went home. Sophie's heart is pounding wildly. Did he really want to do that to me? Ah ah ah. Why did I set up a flag at his mercy at that time? Sophie stood in place with a face full of confusion and embarrassment, lowered her head and whispered, but. My parents are at home. Gu Ran walked a dozen meters away with his head down, not noticing that Sophie was not keeping up, let alone hearing what Sophie was whispering. Gu Ran. Sophie stomped her feet in anger. Gu Ran turned around and asked with a bewildered expression, what's wrong? Sophie said with hatred, you, you go to hell. Speaking, Sophie angrily stepped out of her long legs and walked in front of Gu Ran. Gu Ran was all confused. What situation is this? 
why did this little girl suddenly lose her temper again? I didn't do anything, did I? I mean go home. The matter has been resolved, shouldn't we go home? Watching the little girl walk, I'm afraid the negative emotional value is about to reach 90 o'clock. Sigh. Unfortunately, we can't pick it up today. It won't be until midnight. Waste, waste. It seems that in the future, you can't just pick up any bubbles like a novice who just entered the city. Fortunately, when the maximum pickup limit is reached, the negative emotion value will no longer display dropped bubbles, otherwise it would be painful. I don't know if it's possible to discuss with Sophie, this little girl. If you have any anger, hold it for now and wait until after midnight before sending got it, if I don't talk to her now, she might just hold it back so, Gu Ran followed behind Sophie without saying a word. Sophie is getting more and more angry as she walks ahead. Just now in the CAFA, holding hands, gazing deeply, teasing her chin, and domineeringly holding her waist, why is she not saying a word now? Dead Gu Ran. Stinky Gu Ran. Playing hard to get with me, right? If Sophie talks to you again, I'll give you my surname. Humph. The two of them walked in the direction of home, one in front and one behind. Sophie's house lives in the port area, just 15 minutes away from Costa Cafe. The Sophie family is considered a middle dot class family in the local area. The house is not too big, but the lawn in the courtyard is neatly trimmed and clean. As soon as Sophie entered the door, she headed straight to her boudoir on the third floor. I'm back. Sophie's father, who was sitting in the living room, just looked up at Sophie and then lowered his head again to look at the Southerner football daily in his hand. Uncle Andrew, good afternoon. Gu Ran walked into the familiar residence in his memory, suppressed his excitement, and greeted Sophie's father with a smile. In the past, he was also so polite. So, in Andrew Turner's eyes, today's Gu Ran is no different from before. Andrew is almost 40 years old, but his head is already bald, and his hairstyle is similar to Sia Guanquan's. He was wearing the Southampton team's number 10 jersey, and his plump physique forced the jersey into a tight-fitting look. Aha, our Chinese top student has returned. What would you like to eat tonight? I'll have Aunt Sally cook it for you. Sally Turner is Sophie's mother. Gu Ran hurriedly said, Thank you very much, Uncle Andrew. I actually don't have anything I particularly want to eat. Andrew immediately turned back and shouted in the direction of the kitchen, Sally. You want to eat lamb loin pie? It's only half cooked. Roast some oysters. Make a large serving of mustard and onion mixed with mashed potatoes, and finally a pot of lamb offal pudding. Sophie's mother's shout came from the kitchen, got it. I'll get ready right away. Gu Ran. Andrew blinked at Gu Ran and said, Gu, are you 17 years old enough? Let's have a drink together tonight. There will be a local derby match between Southampton and Northampton later. Do you want to watch it together? Before Gu Ran could speak, Andrew lowered his voice and said mysteriously, I bought the Southampton King with 1,000 pounds of private money. Gu Ran's eyebrows twitched slightly. The memory of this same city derby from the previous life was immediately activated. During this period, Southampton was only a League 1 team, while Northampton was a League 2 team. Although they are both teams from the city of Southampton, their strength is clearly stronger, and after this season, Southampton will advance to the second tier of the English Premier League. The Champions League. With a second place finish. Northampton, on the other hand, has always been at the bottom of the fourth tier League 2, with almost no decent professional players. This game is a domestic cup match in the UK, so these two teams from different league levels have come together. From a technical perspective, Southampton can completely crush Northampton. But according to the memory of the previous life, Southampton will unexpectedly lose to their city rivals Northampton in tonight's game. This is the information gap advantage of rebirth. Gu Ran doesn't have much impression of the unpopular matches in his previous low-dot-level league, and this is just one of them. 
So it's time for a big ticket. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Anti Buy. Southampton vs. Northampton. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Anti Buy. Southampton vs. Northampton. Uncle Andrew, I also want to buy a football lottery ticket to play with. Gu Ran pretended to not understand anything and said, Can you teach me? This is not entirely intentional. In fact, Gu Ran is not very familiar with the spinach software of this era. After all, in his past life, he was always busy practicing questions. Andrew put down the newspaper in his hand and smiled like a spinach expert, saying, buying football lottery tickets, in our jargon, is called spinach. This is something that some universities ask. To be honest, I have been in this industry since I was in my teens. Others work to earn pocket money, buy food, drink, and even go to pick girls, but all the money I earn from working is spinach. Recumbent Groove Uncle, you've been buying a ball for over 30 years, right? How come you only have 1,000 pounds of private money now? Gu Ran chuckled inwardly. Andrew continued, as for spinach, the key is to understand the ball. You need to study the historical records, technical statistics, star players, and tactics of these two teams to see if they are competitive. You also need to know if any of their main players have been injured. In short, there are many factors to consider. These are all very professional. You have never been exposed to them before, so I suggest that if you really want to buy, it's better to follow me, an old player. Andrew proudly said, my key to spinach is to seek stability. For example, in this game between Southampton and Northampton, I was studying the starting lineup and form data of these two teams two weeks in advance. So you're lucky. Follow me to buy the home team and win, there's absolutely no problem. If I bet £1,000, I can earn at least £181. This odds. How amazing. However, thinking about it, everyone is optimistic that Southampton will win a big victory over Northampton, so the odds for Southampton will naturally be very low. If you want a big ticket, you have to buy it in the opposite direction. Moreover, Gu Ran had a clear idea of the outcome of the match between the two teams. Here, I'll help you download a legitimate spinach software first, and then I'll help you bind your bank account. Andrew took Gu Ran's Apple IV phone and paused, now, you can see various odds on your own phone. Thank you Uncle Andrew. Gu Ran took the phone and looked at it. Uncle Andrew, I don't know much about football, but in terms of odds, it seems like buying Northampton earns more, right? Ha ha ha. Andrew burst out laughing, by Northampton to win. Gu, from your words, it's exposed that you really don't understand anything. What team is Northampton? We need forwards without forwards, midfielders without midfielders, defenders without defenders. Goalkeepers are super butter hands who can even throw balls into their own goals. How can Northampton win against us Southampton? Ah bah. When Andrew spoke of excitement, several precious hairs on his head also shook. He is a staunch fan of the Southampton team. It's okay to support your home team with £1,000 to win just for this. Gu Ran smiled and said, Uncle, I actually feel that spinach is also very important. Andrew sneered and said, Feelings. Your uncle and I rely on knowledge, experience, skills, stability strategies, and never on feelings for spinach. Can you tell me how you feel about this game? Gu Ran said, My feeling is that Northampton wins, and the final score is 0.3. This is also exactly the unpopular outcome of this game in Gu Rant's past life memory. If I remember correctly. Andrew stroked his Xie Guanquan hairstyle and said, Oh, Gu, you really don't understand football. Gu Ran smiled calmly and said, Yes, I just rely on feeling. My feeling today is so good, uncle. How about you buy with me? Uncle, I'll take you flying. Andrew laughed heartily and said, can I buy it from you? Don't tease Goo, this is all my private money. 
can I accompany you on a float? If you want to buy it, you can buy it yourself. Gu Ran said regretfully, Uncle, are you really not considering it? Andrew sneered, I'm not a fool. Bring your phone over and I'll teach you how to buy it. You can operate it yourself in the future. Speaking, Andrew took Gu Ran's phone and skillfully opened the betting window. Gu Ran lowered his head and studied the odds on the software. The odds of 0.3 are actually 86 times higher. This is also true, after all, no one is optimistic that Northampton will win, let alone anyone willing to buy such an exaggerated upset result of Northampton winning three goals against Southampton. Blessed by the tender model. Gu Ran took a deep breath, filled in 1,000 pounds in the betting amount, and clicked confirm. This is his rent and meal expenses for next month. If you can win 1,000 pounds, you can get a prize of 86,000 pounds. Andrew next to him was taken aback and said, Kid, you're crazy. You bet 1,000 pounds on 0.3. If I had known this, I should have collected your rent in advance. Gu Ran smiled and said, Uncle, I really have feelings. Andrew shrugged and said, Okay, it's up to you. If you lose once, you'll know the consequences of not listening to professionals. Anyway, next month's rent, whether you should pay or not, you can't lose a penny. Gu Ran smiled and said, Don't worry, Uncle Andrew, I believe in my feelings. Andrew sneered, Gu, if you can win with this buying method, I'll call you big brother. Gu Ran chuckled inwardly. Like a father, like a daughter. How come both your father and daughter love flags so much? If I accidentally win, wouldn't Sophie be calling me uncle? How will we happily play the role of boyfriend and girlfriend in the future? Andrew laughed happily while turning on the TV and switching to the local sports channel. The football match between Southampton and Northampton begins. The overall strength of Southampton's team is more than one level stronger than that of Northampton. Southampton team is completely pushing Northampton to play, and Northampton is almost nowhere to be found when kicked. In the first five minutes, Southampton's top scorer David Connolly received a cross from his teammate and delivered a beautiful arch shot, effortlessly scoring the goal. Andrew excitedly raised his arms and shouted, Ha! Long live the Saints! It's 1.0. Goo, what did I say? It was only five minutes into the game, and your 1,000 pounds was gone. Your final score was Southampton 0.3. Northampton was wrong. Even if Northampton can reverse later, you have already lost. Your feelings are also wrong. You still need to learn from your uncle and me. Playing spinach requires stability. You can't rely on feelings. A faint smile appeared at the corner of Gu Rant's mouth, which was not easy to notice. Oh, it seems like this is really the case. But in fact, Gu Rant's heart was filled with joy. This game is indeed exactly what he remembered in his past life. They were all scored by Connolly's shot in the fifth minute of the first half. According to memory, the score in the first half was 1.0, and the truly explosive turning point will be in the second half. A cold turning point that is enough to change the established score in the first half and even more enough to surprise all lottery fans. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Cold turning point, here comes. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10. Cold turning point, here comes. On TV, the game between Southampton and Northampton continues. In the same city derby, the competition between the two teams was fierce, and their actions were also very unconventional. Although Northampton's strength is clearly not as strong as Southampton's, Northampton doesn't hesitate to play at all. They face Southampton one after another with various backstabbing, dragging, and kicking tactics. The Southampton team naturally did not accept this bird's anger and retaliated against the Northampton team with various rude actions. Both sides have a strong sense of gunpowder, and the pace of the game is often interrupted by fouls from both sides. At the end of the first half of the game, both sides received five yellow cards, 
and the score remained 1.0 at Southampton and Northampton. Puff. Andrew happily opened his fourth can of beer and said gloating, Goo, I'm sorry, your money has already gone bankrupt, and my money, in 45 minutes, will make 185 pounds. I've told you before that you don't understand anything, do you want to buy it with me, a veteran of 30 years? Oh, you're just not obedient, young man. It's okay now, you've run out of rent for a month, right? Gu Ran just smiled. So far, this match is exactly the same as what he remembered. Therefore, Gu Ran's heart was not at all flustered, and even a little excited. After a 15-minute halftime, the second half of the game begins. In the 54th minute of the game, Southampton team launched a long pass from the right side, and Southampton forward Connolly used his body to collide with the defending player, grabbing the first point at the edge of the penalty area. Andrew grabbed the beer can and shouted excitedly, Connolly. Shoot. Shoot. I saw another Northampton defender fiercely sidekick over and kick Connolly's supporting ankle. Connolly immediately covered his feet and fell to the ground in pain. The Southampton players immediately surrounded with great momentum. One of the Southampton players kicked the Northampton player who was sidestepping Connolly with a chest kick, flying away. At this moment, the entire stadium was like a frying pan. Not only are the players on the field fighting together, but also the players on the bench have joined the battle one after another. Both coaches are throwing mineral water bottles at each other. Even the fans from both sides started fighting, constantly throwing wine bottles and burning fireworks into the field. The entire football field seems to be burning. This is the style of the lower tier league in the UK. Kick the ball. No, in low dot level leagues, especially when broadcasting technology has not yet formed, fighting is the foundation. Ha ha ha. Let's get started. That's right. That's it. Saints. Charge forward. Slam those girls in Northampton. Andrew took a gulp of beer, waved his arms excitedly, and sang Southampton's team song. Oh when the saints go marching in. Gu Ran couldn't help but chuckle on the side. Do. Do, the referee on the field tried to control the chaotic situation, so he kept pulling cards at the Southampton players who were chasing them. Both players were sent off one after another. Southampton, which have an absolute advantage in brawling, naturally have the most players sent off. Andrew's smile immediately froze and he said, Wait. What's going on? Referee. Stop drawing cards. If you draw more cards, Southampton won't have enough players on the field. Gu Ran pretended not to understand anything and asked curiously, Uncle Andrew, what if there aren't enough seven people on one side? Andrew explained, Gu, of course you don't understand. This is very professional football knowledge. According to the rules of football, as long as one side is sent off five people, the game ends directly. That is to say, if Southampton were sent off five people first, then in a case where the goal difference in the previous match did not exceed three, Southampton would be directly judged to have lost the game 0.3. And such a result is also recognized by the spinach company. Gu Ran pretended to be surprised and asked, what about the goal scored by Southampton in the first half? Isn't that enough? Andrew covered his bald head and said regretfully, forget it. Gu Ran blinked and said, oh, does that mean? I might collect rice. No, right. Uncle Andrew, didn't you say that my way of buying is definitely a waste of water? Didn't you say that we Chinese people are all stupid and have a lot of money? How could I collect rice, Uncle Andrew? Andrew stiffened all over. In theory, it is absolutely impossible for Gu Ran, a novice, to succeed in his buying strategy. But who would have thought that something like this would suddenly happen in the second half of the game? Andrew felt like his spinach skills over the past 30 years were instantly shattered by Gu Ran, a novice. Looking at Andrew's bitter expression on his face, Gu Ran felt a slight regret in his heart. Unfortunately, 
today's pickup limit was already full, otherwise he would definitely be able to pick up Andrew's skills. As a logistics industry employee, Andrew's skill should be driving, right. Just as Gu Ran was speculating recklessly, the referee on the field called off the fifth Southampton player. The competition will end immediately. The final outcome is Southampton 0.3 Northampton. Gu Rant's 86 times odds, hit. 1,000 pounds to 86,000. Comfortable. Although 86,000 yuan may not be considered a big money, it is still enough to live a nourishing life. Moreover, Gu Rant's bet amount is not significant and will not attract the attention of the spinach company. In the future, encountering such an impressive and unpopular competition can still be played. Gu Ran shrugged and said, Spinach, it's so simple. Uncle, let me tell you, I feel really good today. I asked you to buy from me, but you still didn't. Now that's good, your private money has been wasted, hasn't it? Andrew, who has 30 years of spinach experience, twitched at the corner of his mouth for a while before finally coming up with a word. Big brother, take me. Lying trough. You really shout. Gu Ran hurriedly said, don't do it. Uncle, don't call me that. I don't know anything. We Chinese people are all stupid and have a lot of money. Uncle was wrong. Gu, your feelings are so accurate. You can even guess the score correctly. Chinese people are simply carrying the mysterious power of the East. Gu, take me with you. After speaking, Andrew shook his head in confusion and said, Jesus. Why didn't I buy with you? If I had bought with you back then, my 1,000 pounds would have changed to 80,000. Sigh. Sigh. Andrew's precious strands of hair trembled with his sighs. Gu Ran chuckled inwardly and glanced at the football newspaper on the table before leaving. Uncle, have you finished reading that newspaper? Lend me a look. Andrew waved his hand and said, Gu, don't be polite to me in the future. Take whatever you like. You're also someone with value now. Thank you, uncle. Gu Ran immediately picked up the newspaper and walked back to his room. Andrew pounded his chest and stomped, oh, I just passed by 80,000 pounds. No, no, no. Next time, I must first ask Gu how he feels and follow him to buy. After Gu Ran returned to the room, he immediately closed the door and silently clenched his fists and waved wildly towards the sky. Cool. End of this chapter.